Good morning, YouTube. I am not Drac. I am his girlfriend, Draculina, but you guys already know that. Today, we are going to the post office for some cool, super cool whatever might be there. And Drac is bringing in our trash because he's awesome. And we are going to Stone Mountain because it's an Abernest. And that's just like the best ever. I, why would you disagree? But anyway, we also have to get rid of this car, which we should have done forever ago. So if you guys actually know of any really good charities, be sure to comment down below and tell us what they are. And I think you can hear him getting closer with with those trash cans. Gotta start the day. It also rained. Today is gonna be a pretty good day. We got three fan letters, something heavy, which is probably a spinner, something that we're not allowed to bend, and then somebody crazy spent $45 to send something to the fan mailbox. So, no idea what that is. We'll figure it out when we get home. Let's go. We're here. So one of our favorite things about Stone Mountain Park, other than it being like a really good pogo spot. You never know what's gonna happen. So sometimes the thing that happens is like, the clan has rallies here. So like, Stone Mountain doesn't get a ton of great press. The, the Southern United States, I know I have a huge international audience. Southern United States is unique in the world in that it's one of very few places where they celebrate a war that they lost. Um, and so like, <laughs> it is a little strange. There's a ton of Confederate monuments, including a giant one like scribbled into the side of the mountain. And the mountain is unique because it's actually the world's largest single piece of granite. So big, in fact, that it is a mountain unto itself, which is really cool. But today, as we pulled up, it looks like they're filming some sort of like zombie video game scene slash app commercial or something like that. So like it does get used for just an absolute ton of stuff and it's important to I think value it as a venue instead of anything else. So again like all the filming is driving me nuts but you can see the the mountain or at least it's walk up trail because I don't like paying money to go up the the gondola thing. The mountain is just completely rock. It's rock all the way up and sometimes things grow on it because water and sediment will accumulate. The Draculina has no interest in waiting for me. She's just gonna go on ahead. So, flip-flops were a bad choice, guys. Mountain made of rock plus completely covered in slippery water bits. Not ideal. Alrighty, so this is one of the primary advantages of hiking Stone Mountain. Draculina is right here. The top of the mountain is maybe like, we're, we're almost there. It's very, very close to where we're at. But this, off in the distance, for those of you that might not be aware, is the Atlanta skyline. And so like you can see Atlanta from up here. It's the next highest point near the city, which is kind of cool. So again, like we've made it to the absolute top. It's actually an eagle flying over there, which is pretty cool. Um, wow. And uh, there's a hawk over there. I think it's a hawk, it's really far away. Again, Atlanta back there, Draculina up here, but even in the scorching sun, um, life finds a way. It's just super cool. There's a whole pool of water up here where again sediment collects and so when the sediment collects and the water runs off, it feeds things like this and you can get greenery in places that shade can grow. It starts with moss and then you get actual plants. It's kind of crazy because this is literally a giant rock out in the middle of nowhere. Now they did build this nonsense on it, which I'm actually not very happy about. It seems fundamentally unfair that people can just pay $10 and ride all the way up here because it's something that I feel like you ought to ought to earn. But I don't know, now we, we almost just have to go right back down. Abra count is at 18. So uh, one of the advantages of being a dude is that I don't have to wear my shirt on the way down because it is hot as all get out. This is, however, a pleasant reminder to me that I definitely need to figure out some sort of solution before Momocon. I'm supposed to be a featured cosplay guest in four days. Hey, babe, how long does it take whatever Nair does to your body to wear off? I don't know. I've never used it. Really? No. Dang. All right, I, I need... I smelled it once. It smells like... Oh, it smells blood. like toxic as all get out. Uh-oh. So we're going to Nair his chest. It's going to make me look more cut. Maybe. 
All right, Nair for cosplay. Here we go. Ugh. You ready for this? Probably not. Probably not. Woo! Is it is it just cold or does it tingle? Uh, Wait. Uh, oh, it smells bad. Uh, hold on. <laughs> not feeling it Ooh, quite yet. It smells really bad. <laughs> You're not feeling <laughs> it quite. <laughs> It's cold. Should it be this cold? Can't we microwave it first? Oh god, no. <laughs> Let me get it caught my belly button. Kind of burns. Oh, it does it. Yeah, just a little bit. All right, one, once and for all, it looks like sunscreen, like really bad sunscreen. Girls have it hard <laughs> in circles. Um, yeah, I feel really bad for any girl who's ever felt like they had to do this. Like, you do not have to do this. Those are... Yeah, this this feels awful. <laughs> Should you be wearing gloves? It's not gonna affect me the same way. It's going it, to affect you. Are you just like naturally hairless and that'll... Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, it's painful. That's, <laughs> I do not suggest Nair to anybody. Just shave. The burning has started. How long do you have to leave it on? What does it say? Okay. You have to... Leave lotion on for three minutes. Do not exceed to ten. Do not exceed to ten? I don't know if I'm going to make three minutes. I am a wuss, YouTube. Woo! Can I run around? I'm going to run around. We're going to come back to this. Bye. So they, you, they used to come with a little scraper that you could just, like... I don't suggest Nair to anybody. We're four minutes in. The smell has just gotten worse, and the burning is... Uh, continue. I think the burning means that it's working, right? Yeah, yeah. All right. So the uh, the chest here is actually my birthright as a as a Greek. Um, I'm just, just I feel like that's that's gone now. Face. It might be too strong for this. We're gonna okay. find out. Okay. What happens now? <laughs> that is terrifying. Oh, <laughs> it feels so weird. <laughs> it's like you killed a hamster. Well, the good news is, guys, this product works. The bad news is, it is... Oh, that is so tingly and weird. Don't show the camera that. That's, that's pretty... I'm... <laughs> I look like half of my chest. <laughs> it's gone. Well, the burning is getting worse. Alright, you get it. Oh, yikes. It's coming off like paste. <laughs> this is so gross. Don't don't melt my nipples off, please. Why? You don't need them. I I do for aesthetics. unpleasantness is over and trust me it's still not over I can totally feel it I do want to unbox this mail that I got from my PO box and then I kind of want to give you a quick nerf update and then I want to tell you why I did that unpleasantness in the first place I briefly mentioned it but I think it would be a really good idea to explain it ad nauseum so let's start with the letters All right, so in order, I would like to thank Cody, Solomon, and Preston. All of your letters were wonderful. That meant a lot to me. These are the last of the Blade 180s. This is a motor that has long since gone extinct, and somebody sold off their supply, and so I picked up the last of theirs. So I have six 180s. Uh, these are the Blades, not the XP 180s. They're very, or slightly different motors, but the Blades are very popular, very powerful. They actually power the Nosferatu, which I don't think you can maybe barely see over yay anyway so those are also very exciting i also want to give a huge shout out to my boy zachary zachary is a texan and i have seen him a few times at different large scale nerf events and we've become really good friends and this is his graduation announcement and his note to me was very kind and said that my channel has inspired or at least helped him achieve some of his goals in life and i just can't even tell you how much that means to me man so this is like one of the first graduation announcements I've ever gotten that isn't from like a close family member. And so this 
is very touching for me. Now let's find out what's in the giant box before I choke up. what these are. This is three deluxe Captain Cassie and Andor blasters. These were purchased on sale in California for something remarkably inexpensive. I think that they were close to $15 each and they were shipped over to me by a friend. So I am thrilled to have these in. I think that this is going to be an excellent addition to the storage unit and should I ever need to build something like this, I now have three that are completely unopened, totally sealed that I can utilize to that end. I also have a mod guide for them if you're interested in that. Now, let's talk about the reason that we did all of this nonsense. So, uh, my plan was to do a band cosplay from Seven Deadly Sins for Momocon 2017, and a really terrible company that maybe I'll mention by name if they don't do right by me, uh, did not send me the final piece that I needed in time. So, I'm kind of scrambling to see if I can make that happen still. It does not look likely which means that I'm going through a bunch of my old cosplay stuff, but none of it really fits anymore because reasons. And so that's not so great. Uh, I am a guest at this year's Momocon, so that's Momocon 2017 in Atlanta, Georgia. And I sincerely look forward to meeting any and all of you who would like to attend my paneling. I will have a panel on Friday and Saturday. I will be happy to do any autographs or photo opportunities at those uh, panels that you might wish. And plus, I'm just really looking forward to hanging out with some good friends at the convention. So really looking forward to Momocon 2017. Still have no idea how my costuming situation is going to work out because it is in disaster crisis level mode. So I do have a question for you guys. If you can think of any characters, my body type, that have a cosplay that's pretty easy to put together. I hate doing easy cosplays because I love doing super involved costumes like Reaper and my my Guardian costume, and I've got a few from uh, the past because I have been costuming, costuming uh, since it was called that. Um, so I think that I may be able to jerry rig one of those, but a lot of pieces, particularly in like the chest and shoulder areas, just do not fit anymore. So uh, let me know what you think. Maybe I can still pull off band from Seven Deadly, but we will have to wait and see. Cosplay is so stressful, guys. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. A few quick nerf updates for you since you did watch this whole video, and I really do sincerely appreciate that. The fan mail is nerfed. The regulator mod guide is almost done. I'm pretty happy with it. I look forward to bringing you a complete mod guide on that. This is a project in a box that I'm not talking about quite yet, but it is very exciting and in the works, and I'm working on an HPA blaster. So lots of really cool modification content coming. I'm really enjoying this hybrid style content of like vlog plus nerf stuff because it's very, very healthy for me. And so far you guys seem to watch them and enjoy them. And I mean, there have been a couple of mean comments, but other than that, like it's been very, very positive. So uh, feedback is always appreciated. Cosplay suggestions in the the comment section. And if you have any interest in coming to my Momocon paneling, I will put a link to both events on Facebook in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. Much love, Nerf on Drac out. I'm gonna go find something to stop my chest from burning.